wanted to let everyone know that as you knew that has just started out with this transition from perm to um, I mean from perm to natural hair. Um, you will see pimples. You will see scabs. Um, I saw one right. I mean throughout being permed when I used to get my hair permed and um, then I saw it again last year uh, just before I got on YouTube I used to see scabs well just one little I, I don't know if it was a pimple or a scab or dirt ball or what it was but I took the comb and just scratched it off and it came right off and it's like okay what was that you know so you're going to see strange things in your scalp um you're also going to see dryness of the hair from time to time that just means put more moisture uh, whatever moisturizer is best for you water seems to be my good my moisture um uh, jehovah oil um any type of oil will get rid of the dryness and but we're not talking about dryness today but it kind of ties into scabs um, sometimes your hair is just um, I'm finding out from research and, and uh, reading that it could be a number of things that cause the scabs to come onto your scalp um, In my case, I think it was just from all the perming and all the styles that I, you know, had. Um, just all of that just just disturbed my scalp. Um, it's basically a disturbed scalp. Uh, your scalp is disturbed. And you can keep putting this stuff on, but there is something that you can use uh, that's natural that I found out um, a couple weeks ago. And I was into the bring this before now, but just never <laughs> got around to do it. But I'm uh, doing it today. And I uh, just want to let you know that the information that I found. Um, but let me tell you why uh, why it comes. You know why does it come? It's because you permed your hair in, the, in before you got natural, before you became natural. It's because um, you might have over processed your hair. Period. With the perm, maybe you had a, a perm. Um, maybe you just recently had a perm. Or you, especially if you just recently had a perm, you can expect to have little bitty pimples and things coming up on your scalp. Sometimes you can over, you can put things on your head, too much stuff on your hair, and you, I even find that you get a pimple for that sometimes. It depends on your scalp. And this is where a dermatologist can come in and tell you. Like in my case, I have a normal scalp. But if I put too many things on it, like I did, like I put an over-processed perm or keep putting perms on, uh, it can damage the scalp if that person doesn't do the perm correctly. Um, and that could have been why um, I had one little pimple or scab or whatever it was. <laughs> I don't know what that was actually, but I would get it and then not get it. So, but what I found that it was, what I found out that it was, it was just basically you've over processed your hair over the years and your scalp is responding to that. And uh, it's called a chemical burn basically. If you got a lot of scabs, you need to check with your doctor. Don't let this be a substitute. 
No, because what I'm going to tell you, don't let this be a substitute. Uh, because if you have pus bumps in your head, if you have redness, if you have um, any type of uh, real, real craziness going on, you want to go to a physician. You want to, you know, let a dermatologist look at it. Um, yeah, and like I said, chemical burn is misuse of products. Bottom line, you have misused, misused something on your hair. The reason why it is responding on your scalp as a scalp. Okay, um, the things that you can use to help maybe heal the scalp. If it's not, you know, really, really bad, you can try this. Coconut oil is an antibacterial oil. So if you have a pimple, a little bit of pimple like I had, or you have pimples coming back and forth or scabs coming back and forth, try the oil treatment with coconut oil. And you know, lose the other oils and just use coconut oil just a little bit on wherever uh, the scab is, and basically just place it all over or place it wherever it is. Okay, cover with a shower cap or cover with a grocery bag or cover and let it sit for a few minutes. And then you just let it heat and that's it. Also you can use it for taming your split ends. If you, and I already knew that oils, you know, help with the split ends, but also coconut oil helps with the split split ends. I know I'm going back to oils but I had to um, put that out there because I know I had little, you know, pimples in my head from time to time, especially when I first came um, into being natural. Then that first year, it was just one pimple. It wasn't a lot of them. wasn't a lot of scabs, but it was pimple and then scab, and I was like, what's this? But it's basically just, you know, from the perms or from, it's coming from what you've done in the past. So, whatever you see on your scalp is something that you did in the past that is making it come on your scalp today. Just wanted to pass that on to you. I um, thought I would talk about scabs so you can understand, you know, when you're going from perm to natural, expect a scalp. Expect a pimple. Expect little extra a little um, effect it's going to be an effect um, because of what we've done in the past so don't get alarmed just uh, try a little coconut oil if that doesn't work go to the dermatologist and uh, they, they probably will be able to help you get something even stronger or get something to uh, cure it but um, scabs are something that can be serious if you keep over processing your hair or misusing products on your hair. But anyway, talk to you later. Be careful with the products that you use on your hair. Bye bye. Don't misuse.